In today's video, I'm going to teach you how to clean, dehydrate, and preserve morel mushrooms. Let's see if we can find any morels here. There's one there. Okay, there's another one. There's another one here. Two of them. I'm going to go up and pinch it right there. All right, these have been sitting in the fridge for a couple days, and I'm going to show you how to preserve and dehydrate these. So first I'm going to soak them in some water just to get any bugs or any dirt off of them. After soaking in water for a while, I'm going to bring the mushrooms over, cut off the dirty tips, split it in half, check for bugs, and give an additional water bath in a clean bowl of water just to get any extra gunk or any extra bugs off. Here you can see all the butts of the mushrooms that I cut off. This bowl, as you can see, the benefit of soaking the morels in water is that there's a lot of gunk and debris, a couple of isopods, little bugs that were uh, hanging out inside the mushroom. And now here is the bucket of split morel mushrooms soaking in an additional bath for a while. As you can see, we're on the side of our house where our morel mushroom garden is. I'm going to take the debris from the bu bucket with hope that any spores will be distributed into our garden and grow into future morel mushrooms right here in our own backyard. Okay, here's my clean, freshly washed plate of morel mushrooms sliced in half. And what we're going to do to store them is we're going to put them in this Hamilton Beach food dehydrator. See, there's multiple levels here. and. I'm going to come over here to the book and the dehydrating chart is 125 degrees Fahrenheit, mushrooms sliced a quarter inch thick, and 8 to 12 hours. So I'm going to do it for 12 hours. So I'm going to load this up. Alrighty, there they are. I got two layers of them all laid out nice and neat. So I'll just put the lid on. And push start. There we have it. 12 hours later, they are completely dehydrated and dry. See that? Crackle crunch. No more moisture. Now I can take all of them out. Row one, and there's some more in row two. They shrunk a lot, so they're a lot smaller. They don't look like much, but um, ready for storage. And then when I reconstitute those in water, when I want to use them, they'll puff right back up. There's our jar. Morel mushrooms from the wild, all dehydrated and dried out. If you want to watch the video on where I picked these, I'll put the link in the description below the film, and uh, when I make a video of cooking with them, I'll put that on there as well. Okay, thanks for watching.